everybody to day two of the 30 day coding challenge from CS Math. Today we are going to uh, challenge you to invite a friend to get some people uh, coding with you in Python. Remember, we're free here. Everything's going to be free. It's five minutes and it's a lot more low key than uh, taking a whole platform and feeling that challenge. This is for anybody interested in the intersection of computer science and math, hence the name and people just in the STEM world. Uh, today we'd like to give a shout out to our uh, one of our um, challenge acceptors, Mr. B. You can find him on Twitter at Tall Math Teacher. And he crushed out this first challenge. He uses a lot of uh, what's a program called PolyUp. So I invite you, if you haven't saw his work or PolyUp's work, to jump onto Twitter and check that out. So again, invite your friends. That's a minute. Let's get started. So over to the right over here, you can see today we are going to just be adding some color to what we have already done. And if we didn't, if you personally didn't uh, close, enclose your five point style, we are going to do that today. Um, so if I say just delete out your code now, you should have saved it somewhere. So for us, like we saved it here to this uh, Google Doc. You may have emailed it to yourself. You may. Um, shared it with somebody but you should have that <clears throat> code kind of saved off somewhere so we can paste it back in so we're going to create today um, a list and it's kind of like a variable only a variable with multiple values so let's say what are the perfect squares one four nine sixteen and now this list of four perfect squares is stored um, under that title now, if you haven't done a ton of programming, see how we combine two letter words with a with a um, underscore. You can do camel case, where instead of this, you um, each new word you start with a capital letter. I guess we usually do it like this. The first one's usually lowercase, and every new letter is uh, uppercase. So you'll have to pick a way that you like. We like this a lot of times, so. Uh, so perfect squares is these values, and we're going to use the same structure for item in range, sorry, four, I guess there are. And then remember, this is just a loop that will loop four times. Notice after you hit enter after the uh, semicolon or after the colon, it automatically indents. So we are going to, why don't we first just print I? Print this item. So notice I'm going to pull this bar right here. See this bar? Pull that up. Run that. Notice how it's it prints that we are talking about item zero, item one, item two, item three. They're calling this first item, and most languages call that first item the the zero item. Um, so it, whether in a list or whether in this loop, it usually Python defaults. Well, not usually. It defaults to starting at zero. So notice that, <clears throat> and then um, we could also print, instead of I, why don't I print um, perfect squares? Um, not the whole thing, we could just print the whole thing. Notice if, I, notice if we ran that, it would just print the whole list four times. But if I just wanna index or access one value, I would put um, just, uh, I could put a zero in there and just print the this this first term every time. But if I use I, then it will scroll through uh, each value of the list. So notice how using that structure, I can pull up and retrieve each value in the list. Okay, so now I'm going to do a couple things very quickly. So let's uh, select all, Control A, select all that, delete all that, pull this back down because we won't need it as much for this part, and pull this back over to increase the size of our screen. Then go back wherever you found your code and paste it in. Okay, so I challenge you, you want to pause the video, get ready and set here. Okay, so <clears throat> hopefully you get your stuff uh, pasted in. Now if you look at mine, I have included a new uh, command here called t.shape. Our turtle we called t yesterday, so t.shape. Notice how if I run this, it brings in a turtle shape. And there's um, <clears throat> just a few shapes that you can bring in here. Um, on this platform, and notice I've added this code that uh, surrounds the pentagon. <clears throat> so how did I do that? Well, to keep it short, again, these are just going to be roughly five-minute videos. If I cut that out, this was the code that made the um, pentagon, and if I add this in, 
Uh, notice that the turtle was facing this direction. I wanted to turn him 36 degrees uh, back to the right, which is this command here. And then once he's facing horizontal again, uh, I got this value using law of signs. I'll let you play around with that. I just didn't want to include it in this video. So how are we going to add, now that this code here works, and you can just copy that if you want to, it's no big deal. Now that this code actually makes the, the uh, star surrounded, how are we going to do the color that you had seen in the, in the previous uh, screen? So to cover that, um, let me pause. Okay, so to keep the video concise, I just moved some of the stuff, so I kind of deleted some of the spaces and shifted this code up. And I commented it out. So anything with a hashtag is, is a comment. So this code here was just for setup. This structure of code is what draws the five point star. So if you wanted to pause and just kind of clean up your code so it looks like that, that would be great. Now again, you don't have to, it just helps with communication. The other code is still at the bottom. I just blew it up so you can see it a little better. And what I'm gonna paste in here is and i should probably um, downsize the so the way i'm downsizing the font if you want to use bigger or smaller is through these three bars sorry <clears throat> and um so i would have you type out colors and instead of having a string or sorry a list of numbers or an array of numbers you could just type out colors notice you have to have these either in uh, quotes or double quotes or single quotes Okay, now that you are here, um, all you have to do is enter in a command in your loop, right? That will change the color. So we'll say t dot uh, color. Is it pen color? I should look at my code I saved. Sorry, no, it's just color. So there's commands for um, this in the documentation. I'll show you, <clears throat> but I just want to to set the turtle colors. What this will do to colors. And remember how we talked about accessing this one as the zero term, first term. Remember, those are the I values. So I would say uh, the colors of I. And that's just, oh, I guess it doesn't start initially, right? Because we never changed the color. That's okay. So it's black on the first run. Yeah, that is the way I had it. So perfect. That's what we're going to call today's project. Uh, again, if you get this done, don't forget you can tweet out using this quick short Twitter link. And include the hashtags, uh, hashtag CS in math. Probably can't see that. And hashtag 30 day coding challenge. Thanks for tuning in today.